Hey, protect yourself on the web today at nordvpn.com slash pop trigger or use the code pop trigger to save 77%. Remember back when Rudy Giuliani called out Stormy Daniels and he said that he didn't like porn stars, didn't respect them. And then later they traced his IP address and they found out that he had watched a whole bunch of porn exposing the hypocrisy of Rudolph Giuliani. Well, he should be able to watch all the porn he wants and I should have the freedom not to know about it. So Rudy should have used a VPN to protect himself from that kind of hacking stuff. So you should use a VPN too, like NordVPN. It is the only VPN to get a perfect score from PC Mag with thousands of servers all over the world. Don't make the same mistake as Rudy. Head over to nordvpn.com slash pop trigger or use the code pop trigger to save 77%. Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Trigger. Uh, Drake's new album, Scorpion, is obliterating streaming records across the world. It's already at 132 million streams on Spotify and 170 million streams on Apple. Uh, his, his record label, Universal, has really doubled down and wanting to make sure this album is super successful. They've actually partnered with Spotify for uh, these playlist takeovers with Drake. Pretty much his face is plastered everywhere called Scorpion Season, where he takes over multiple playlists, um, including Rap Caviar, Beast Mode, Today's Top Hits, you name it, Drake's face is everywhere. But the controversy is this, and when I started reading this, I thought, you shady little guy. Drake, Drake's face is on these playlists, but some of his music's not even in the playlist. Some of his content's not even featured in the playlist. It's, on, it's at least 50% of the, of the playlists that he's on don't have Drake music in it at all. So th this has led people to be really <laughs> upset at Spotify. I mean, and I get what Universal's trying to do. They're trying to, to put Drake at the forefront because look, Beyonce and Jay-Z had their album come out. People are no longer talking about that. Christina Aguilera dropped her album. People are no longer talking about that. So Universal also has releases from Ariana Grande and uh, Nicki Minaj coming up in August. So they're trying to cash in where they can. What do you guys, how you guys feel about that? Did you listen to the album? I did. I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah, I liked it. I'm never it. gonna say no to more Drake, is that weird? Like, even if I'm like, oh, I don't wanna listen to Drake, if you start playing it, I'll be like, all right, okay, you got me. Sure. Uh, in the history of like records and radio and mm -hmm. all that, and there had been this thing, play, payola, mm -hmm. where essentially you pay to get your stuff higher up on the list so that everybody's listening to it on the radio and it all kind of filters down into the public. This feels a lot like that, strangely. This is like algorithmola, where like yeah. they go and they put Drake on stuff he is not in. And they try to get it so that whatever gets suggested to you, since Drake is trending over here, because all the money they poured in, it's suddenly up at the top of everybody's list. So I, <laughs> what's interesting about hearing these kind of conspiracy-esque theories about what he's doing with Spotify to get his name and face and brand out there, is I don't really think that he needed to do it. I mean, no. there was so much hype coming into this. On top of just the feud with Pusha T, there was also, you know, I, I saw it going around on Twitter just when he released the album, but then also when they figured out the no in the album that he'd obviously written for Apple Music, which is Drake is, is a pop star, Drake doesn't write his own music, all that stuff. There was, there was so much surrounding this that I feel putting his face on everything reminds me of that Taylor Swift comment which, that she said to Kanye West where she said, I'm very close to overexposure right now. I feel like all, like this is overexposure. He was getting all the press that he needed as is and stuff like this I don't think really helps him. No. Uh I agree with both of you, Brett. You make a great point about the payola thing. I mean, I worked in radio, so and that was a huge thing, especially in the early '90s and in the 2000s when you had a sound scan. So if sound scan. Who knows if these if these figures are legit digitally? We don't know. But back in the day, you had sound scan. So if you went and bought an album, you could tell when something was double platinum, triple platinum by how many how many barcodes were scanned to mm -hmm. denote the sale of that that particular item. When it comes to Drake's overexposure. He is a pretty powerful player in music. So yeah, I would click on a playlist that had that had Drake's face. I would, I mean, just because I'm a fan of well, his like music. Well, like at home, I just go like, Alexa, play Drake. And then if I would like to hear Drake actually, instead of like here playing Drake's favorites starring yeah. Pusha T. Like yeah. whatever these weird things that they end up giving to you, that sounds disingenuous. Also, <coughs> what a, it was like, a tw how many tracks were on this thing? 25. Yeah, Dude. there's an A side and a B side. Right. In a world where it's like, oh, here's my new album, it's five tracks long. I love that he's just like, I'm gonna stadium arcadium you. It just like chucks it down on your face. I yeah. love that. People are really here for the juicy tidbits that came with Scorpion. His mm -hmm. admission of having a son, uh, Jay-Z's yeah. 
uh, bar that pretty much you could tell this album was pretty recent because he talks about um, XX Tentacion dying. Yeah. Um, it, so there's there's so much. It's like one of those albums that gives you the answers, the same way like um, 444 did, or I guess. The Carters did. They give us answers to things we've been asking questions about. It is. It is interesting how recently some of these verses must have been recorded because there's a there's a clapback on one of Drake's songs to a <laughs> Kanye song from Kanye's most recent album, and then Jay's verse references uh, X's death. So that must have also been at least recorded about like a week or two. Or I don't even know. Like so recently, it's, it's crazy how it, 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 it at once feels like he's been brewing this project for so long. We've been hearing about Scorpion for so long. And then at the same time, he's always working and always current. I mean, the machine behind Drake and OVO is insane. It's, yeah. And that's the mix of like maybe how he factors in what's gonna make the final cut is like things yeah. that I've been working on for a long time that I think meet a certain threshold. And then as it's coming out, the things that I'm just, <coughs> Able to get under the wire in time because at this moment they're um, they're relevant and you know over time there's enough other songs on the track that as those relevant things go into the past you'll still have like my singles. Yeah, and he's well. back to basics, I think.